Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video of Ivan's Wheels. Here we are today at Priority Auto and I'm going to give you a walk around of the all new Škoda Slavia. Now here's a fact, being a sedan in this world obsessed with SUVs isn't easy. But Škoda is here to change it with the Slavia. Can they? Well, yes. The Slavia has the ground clearance of a crossover and also the space and practicality of an SUV. So let's get started. Let's start with the design of the Škoda Slavia. Now, first impressions, it looks really handsome and the charm of a sedan can never be replaced. The grille is similar to the entire Škoda family and this one is really sharply cut which gives the Slavia a muscular and sporty look. These lovely swooping lines on the bonnet too add to that flair. The headlights have the Škoda crystalline effect which is now a trademark and they also say Škoda crystal lighting on the headlights. The side remains pretty clean and it has the swooping coupe-like roof line. These two really sharp lines on the side give it some character. You also get chrome door handle inserts. This Škoda badge is similar to the Kushak which it shares its platform, engine and gearboxes with. Now these wheels are 20555R16s and they tend to look a bit undersized on the Slavia. I feel 17 inches would have looked better but I think they've done this to give it a better ride quality and the ground clearance because the Slavia has the ground clearance of a crossover SUV like I mentioned earlier. You have 179mm which is enough to tackle all Indian roads. The tail lights too have the crystalline effect. Now I like that Škoda have kept it simple with the back of the Škoda Slavia. It, it's not too cluttered with badges. You just have the Slavia badge on the bottom left and the main Škoda badge here. There's also a nice strip of chrome that runs along the bottom which gives it a nice look. Now from the outside, it may look like the Slavia has a sport bag design like its elder sibling, the Octavia. But no, it just has a normal tailgate like any sedan. But the boot capacity is humongous. It's 520 litres which is larger or as good as most SUVs it's going to compete with. Now while I climbed into the boot of the Slavia to demonstrate the boot capacity, I just noticed a piece of cost cutting here. This panel is totally exposed and there's no sound deadening or carpeting here. That's the sound of the door shut of the Škoda Slavia and it gives a very reassuring feel when you get into the car. Now the interior is very well crafted and it has a lot of finishes, textures and materials used which makes it feel very premium. The seats are full leatherite which also gives it that premium feel and are very well supported on all sides. This two spoke steering wheel is shared with the Kushak but what is not shared with the Kushak is the 8 inch digital instrument cluster which the Kushak misses out on. You can also get a 10 inch touchscreen which is shared with the Kushak and it's very responsive and nice to use. Below that you get this nice rubberized finish. The aircon vents are placed below the touchscreen and the aircon is operated by these touch sensitive buttons here on this panel. There's also a wireless charger you get with the Slavia which is here and you also get two USB-C type sockets. This particular car is the 1 litre TSI with the manual transmission which you see the gear lever here. The Slavia gets ventilated seats for which the controls are placed here. Now the Slavia gets a manual handbrake and not an electronic one. There's also a two, three cup holders here and spaces to store your stuff. The Slavia gets an adjustable arm, armrest with storage although the storage is not a lot. The Slavia also gets a manually adjustable sunroof you see here. The Slavia gets wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now what I was talking about the textures will be seen here. There's this lovely piano black finish here on this bronze strip which looks really really cool and that bronze strip runs through the aircon vents and the aircon vents in itself look amazing. This cluster is surrounded by this really cool rubberized finish plastic which gives it a cockpit like look which I really love. There's also this knurling finish for the knobs which you use to control the instrument cluster and they give nice clicks when they move which feels really nice. 
Now we are in the rear seat of the Skoda Slavia. This, the front seat is taken completely behind. I'm almost 5'4 and have a lot of knee room, a sufficient amount of headroom and the under thigh support of the seats are really good. And once again, I want to say that Skoda have nailed it with the cushioning of the seat. It's not too hard and not too soft. You get rare AC vents and two USB-C type ports. In terms of practicality, you get large door bins and a seat pocket and it also has a small pocket for your phone. Now one piece of cost cutting I found is this armrest which just falls down like this. Have a look. The armrest however is well cushioned and in leather it and has two small cup holders and worn fit bottles in here. It has three adjustable headrests even for the middle passenger. The transmission tunnel too doesn't intrude too much into the rear seat footroom. So in case you decide to fit a third passenger into your Slavia, he'll have enough room for his feet. Škoda have also rectified the headliner problem which the Kushak had and now the Slavia has a knitted headliner which doesn't feel cheap like the Kushak did. Now let's talk about the engine and gearbox options of the Škoda Slavia. The Slavia won't get a diesel engine. The first engine you get is a 1 litre TSI engine which is mated with a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic transmission. It produces 115 horsepower and 178 Nm of torque. The second engine you get is a 1.5 litre TSI which is mated with a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed DSG transmission. It produces 150 horsepower and 250 Nm of torque. Now let's talk about the safety features of the Škoda Slavia. It comes with 6 airbags, ABS, EBD, ESC, Isofix child seat mounts and low tyre pressure warning. The price of the Slavia ranges from 10.69 to 17.79 lakh rupees ex-showroom India. My final verdict, the Škoda Slavia is the best mid-size sedan that you can currently buy. What's even more impressive about it is that it can compete with all these mid-size SUVs that people are going crazy after. I really love that Škoda has brought something different to our country when all the automakers are just launching more and more SUVs. The Škoda Slavia is, combines the practicality of an SUV with the driving dynamics of a sedan which makes it the perfect choice for enthusiasts who also need something practical. I believe the Škoda Slavia will be a success. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to never miss any of my new updates. Thanks for watching Vivan's Wheels.